going to be doing a review on Paula's Choice Extra Strength Acne Kit. And this is what it looks like. My toner started leaking, this one, so I put in a bag. And then I was going to tell them this is what it looks like on a daily basis. I I was going to tell them and then I used the whole thing. So, yeah. Too late. It's a three-step thing. And you first you use the cleanser. And then you use the toner. My sad little toner. And then you use this daily clean skin clearing treatment. Basically, I really like this product. And I'm going to go through in this video what I like about each one to see if you think this will be suited for your own skin type. My skin type is it's like T-zone oiliness and my cheeks can get really dry and then my acne was on my forehead mainly and sometimes I have it on my nose but it's mainly on my forehead and that's what my problem was. I had that stubborn acne where it was like it was there and then sometimes I'd be like oh blah 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 but my acne looks bad and my friends would be like you don't have acne but I could see it and there was like um, it was the acne where it's like there's tiny bumps and so if you saw it in a weird light or something you would just be like what's wrong with her face? Also I got the extra strength one versus the normal strength one and my biggest concern um, whenever I was gonna buy it was I was looking online for reviews like this one in a video review because I was worried that the extra strength would do more harm than good on my skin because I had really dry skin. Sometimes it's sensitive, like if I go outside, I'll come back in and I'll have like red marks on my face that look like mosquito bites, but aren't. But it actually, I really enjoy this product. So I would recommend it to you if you have a good moisturizer that you can use, if you're worried about your skin drying out or things like that. Also, I'm pretty sure Paula's Choice has like a money back guarantee. So if you take my word for this, and you say, wow, Jacqueline said this is a great product, but it sucks. You can get your money back if you don't like it. So don't blame me. Hopefully this works for you. Don't forget that we all have different skin types. And so I'm just gonna explain what I like about these products and why I think they worked for my skin so that they'll hopefully work for yours too. The first step is the cleanser. And this is really nice. It's not creamy. When you wash it off, clear and it's kind of runny all these products are pretty runny for some reason so whenever you're pouring it out be careful of that or else you'll pour out the whole bottle it says it refreshes skin without causing dryness reduces red marks and prevents redness dissolves pore clogging oil and dirt that sounds pretty good to me to be honest I don't really know how how well cleansers work um, because they all kind of do the same effect on my face like they just make it feel clean some of them are moisturizing cleansers that make your face feel like you didn't wash off soap or something this isn't one of them it's pretty light it doesn't make your skin feel squeaky, squeaky clean but it makes it feel clean like you know it's working this second one the toner sorry it's kind of icky um, this toner it says that it's anti-redness exfoliating solution, 2% salicylic acid, and it's supposed to maximize pore penetrating formula. Oh, sorry. What it does, maximum pore penetrating formula, prevents breakouts and fades red marks, unclogs and minimizes enlarged pores. My pores aren't that big to begin with, so I can't really tell. And also, anti-redness, I'm not really sure how well that works. I can't really tell, but you know, it's all about like the acne disappearing. That part's important because the rest you can, if you have good skin, you will have to use less makeup. And if you're in the process of getting good skin and your face is still a little red, then you can use makeup. Just use like not that much. Just don't be afraid to go outside if your face is all red. Like people won't care. Maybe they'll be like, uh, for one second, they'll be like, wow, her face is really red. But I mean, you don't know them. Or if you do, that's... They shouldn't think negatively of you just because your face is red from pimples, you know? That doesn't say anything about someone's character. Also, it says, it says anti-redness exfoliating solution. I don't know how to tell if a liquid is exfoliating your skin, 
but I really enjoy all these products. This one makes you feel pretty moisturized too. And I've only gotten a little bit of dryness from this product just because, you know, I think it's just inevitable because of acne products. I use this toner with these cotton rounds that I got from Walmart. And I just like, after cleansing, I put these on them and then I like wipe on my face, wipe here and wipe everywhere. And then I go in with this last product, step three, which is the daily skin clearing treatment with 5% benzoyl peroxide. This one says that it quickly reduces stubborn acne, leaves an invisible matte finish, and visibly reduces red marks. I think that it does kind of leave a matte finish, but right now I can tell that it kind of just feels moisturized. I think my natural oils are starting to come back out. But if you really, if you're worried that much about the matte part, I would just use it, put a powder on top over it. I haven't found that wearing makeup really reduces the the way that this product works. I don't wear that much makeup though. I probably wear makeup once every two months on my face. Right now, I'm not wearing any face makeup. I put on some chin contouring makeup. But, and some eye makeup, like very minimal, but no face makeup. Oh, and eyebrows, because my eyebrows are tricky. They're like... Imagine a forest right here, and then a desert on the third part. So it looks like I have like no eyebrows on this side. So yeah, anyway, I would recommend this product to you. If you have the same type of skin as me, definitely try it out, because I, I hope it works and I think it'll work. And also, there's a bunch of reviews online. I made this video because whenever I was looking for reviews, I wanted a video review about the extra strength one because sometimes with writing, it's hard to tell. If you really want to buy it, what I paid for it was about $15 a bottle. And that's not that expensive if you really want to get rid of acne. If you think $50 is too much, think of it as an investment and it lasts lasts a pretty long time. The first thing that's run out for me though is this toner. It's actually empty right now. I gotta buy a new one. I'll show you my skin right now. I basically only have scars left and so that's because I picked my pimples and one reason I really know this product works is that to I mean I like to pick my pimples. It's that's kind of embarrassing and you shouldn't pick your pimples because that's how that is how I got all my scars. But nowadays, I have to like search really hard for a pimple to pop on my forehead. Sorry if that sounds really nasty, but I mean, that's how I really noticed that it worked because I used to have pimples everywhere because they were really tiny and they'd be there. So yeah, but now they're like all gone. And I probably think that the only reason I have pimples now is because I try and look for pimples and so I touch my face. And when you touch your face, you're introducing more bacteria and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm, yeah. If you want to watch more videos, you should subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.